A Live Grantham, or New Life as it was called then, uh, began in 2007. Uh, we began with six adults and two kids, uh, six month old and uh, just under three. And uh, we moved up from London on an adventure with Jesus. So we started meeting every Tuesday evening in June 2007 for six weeks. And over those six weeks, God began to grow us as a family and began to put roots down. Uh, then after that, we met in a pub in Ran Alpha, which was amazing. We then realised we need to start meeting on Sunday mornings in order to really connect with families and grow youth and kids work and be multi-generational. And so for five years, we met in King's School and again, just loved what God was doing there. And then in 2012, God gave us what is now our spiritual home as our church family uh, in a beautiful building where we just can gather to adore him and run lots and lots of other activities to kiss our town with his grace. He gave us a presence right in the center of the town and a presence throughout the week as well, which just enabled us to just kind of put a bigger footprint as it were on the town. Um, it, it meant that we were there to stay. It showed that we were serious. After five years, we weren't just a flash in the pan. We're here to play our part alongside every church in the town to see Grantham one for Jesus. I love uh, in Grantham the, the fact that we take Jesus very seriously, but we don't take ourselves very seriously. I love the fact that people are free to be themselves. I love the fact that Jesus meets us just as we are, that masks can come off and we can be real and honest with each other in a secure place, uh, but knowing there's a saviour who has a real perfect plan for us. I've been coming to Alive Grantham for about seven years now, and I just love the fact that all age groups are incorporated. Covid hit, so there came a point where I just felt that I'd completely lost my purpose. I joined Academy with a great big imposter sign on my head, we were online and I found it very, very difficult to unmute so I could speak. And in the end, I had to make a statement and say, I'm going to unmute so that I can start talking for God. Throughout Academy, I've just found God's purpose for my life. I know who I am now and I know whose I am. You know, for some people, God just does incredible supernatural things that blow people away. For me, it's much more gentle. It's just like the gentle blowing of the wind. We just want to keep running with Jesus and just keep hearing what the Holy Spirit is saying. We've got two services on a Sunday. We just want to see those moving forward, exploding. We'll see more people releasing their gifts, more people influential in their workplaces, in the pubs, in the cafes, in the clubs, in the shops, in the town. We just want to see our town, our region, one for Christ. My name is Sally, I'm part of the evangelism team. The reason why I got involved with this is that um, in 2018, my um, sister-in-law um, thought she was terminally ill and my mum was um, too. And I really felt convicted because um, although I had done everything to invite them to church and I'd bring them, brought them along to social events, the one thing I really couldn't do was just share how much Jesus loved them and to be able to pray for them. And um, so what happened is, and sadly, my sister-in-law died in 2018, and on that very year, I joined the streets team. And since then, I've been able to lead 20 to 30 people um, to Jesus. We've been able to tell them that God loves them and that he has an amazing plan for them. We really find it uh, exciting to be part of an adventure that's far bigger than just Grantham. There's a, a region now with all these uh, alive locations in where we love Jesus, we share the same value, the DNA, and it just gives us that sense of being part of something bigger than just a, a local scene. As one church, we really feel we're moving forward together, and in Grantham, we're just thrilled with what Jesus is doing across the whole church.